¿Qué es Soma Prasad? get special attention in the development process. Now the government says farewell to all such special attentions. When the planning process is abolished, special plans are also being abolished, sir. Now SCSP, TSP are also being abolished. Sir, since 1974, the TSP is there in our country. Since 1979, SCSP also there in our country. Yes, there, I agree, there are certain defects exist in the execution of SCSP and TSP. But SCSP and TSP played a vital role in the development of SCST people in our country, sir. It is an accepted concept and policy, sir, that the share amount of SCSP and the TSP of the plan should be proportionate to the percentage of the SCST population. But no government, existing government or former governments dare to earmark such amount for the SCST development. The same drama is again played in this budget also, sir. Now the Honorable Finance Minister claimed in his budget speech that 35% of additional enhancement is included in 2017-18 budget than the previous year. That is true, sir. But when we go through the actuals, as per the existing norms, the SCST policy 99,394 crore rupees should, be, should have been included in the welfare of the SE. Then only it should become proportionate to the SE population. Rupees 4,000 crores less is included now in this budget. Generally accepted SCST policy regarding the SCSP, TSP fund is earmarked that much amount of plan fund which is proportionate to the percentage of the SCST population. As per the 2011 census report, the SC population is 16.6 percentage and ST is 8.6 percentage, total 25.2. Then 25.2 of the plan fund or project fund should be earmarked for the SCST projects. But in the new budget, no plan or non plan division, this, it is abolished. Instead of new method is adopted, revenue and uh, capital expenditure. Hence the plan non plan calculation is difficult. But when we adopt this method, method in 2016-17 budget for study, it is arrived that 4.63% of the total budget expenditure should be earmarked for the SC welfare project. Likewise, 2.39% should be earmarked for ST. When we adopt the same procedure here, 4.63 plus 2.39 percentage, that is total 7.02 percentage of the total budget expenditure must be allocated for the welfare of the SCST schemes. That comes 1 crore, 1 crore 50,000, 1 lakh 50,000, 701 crore rupees. But now included only 84,000 313 uh, crores, that is 66,388 uh, crores uh, rupees less than the eligible amount. Moreover, it is very common phenomena that certain amount earmarked for the certain schemes comes under the SCST supplies, straight away divert to the other purpose purposes, which is not directly benefited to SCST. Sir, SCST people are the most backward section even now in our country, sir. Due to certain historical and philosophical reasons, they are sidelined in the course of development of the society. Now the, awak now the awakening of the awakening to the progress is with the help of the special attention. Sir, a special attention like SCSP, DSP, reservation in education and reservation in employment. But the new policies like disinvestment of 
public sector undertaking and downsizing negatively affects the job opportunities of the Dalit educated youth. The main source of source for getting the better job is reservation. That is only in public sector. Privatization of public sector curbs the job opportunities. In order to compensate this loss, their main demand is extend the job reservation in private sector also. There are so many qualified heads, but they are not getting chance to express their ability because they, are, they have no godfathers. So the government should direct as the godfather. Job, res job reservation in private sector is a must, and it is high time to implement this policy in our nation, sir. Another important point, sir, the central government and most of the state governments are not willing to earmark eligible amount for the CST development in their budget. This is happening because of the absence of a competent law which compels the governments to earmark eligible amount. Hence, a law should be enacted without any further delay, sir. In general, this budget does not do justice to Kerala state. One of the main requests of the Kerala is to start a unit of All India Institute of Medical Science. This time also it is not it is denied. The major sector of sector of Kerala agriculture is hardy crop. Our farmers are forced to contest with the international market. It creates dangerous situation. In every day, the price of rubber is going downward. We should protect our farmers, but center is doing nothing. Another serious matter is the welfare of returned provasis. They also earn foreign money for our nation. When they return, it is the duty of the country to rehabilitate them. The budget does not give much importance to this vital point, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Swamaprasad. Thank you very much.